So, it's lockdown number two. What new skill are you learning? Have you learned how to make banana bread? Maybe you're starting a new exercise regime? Well, me, I've invented a new puzzle. It's called a Junimoji. It comes from the Japanese Junban Nimoji, which means letters in order, similarly to how Sudoku is Japanese for single number and Yo Sushi is Japanese for Yo, eat some sushi. The rules of Junimoji are simple. You're given a grid. Hang on a second, Frizz. You just ripped off Sudoku. Is this a rip-off of Sudoku? No, it's not a rip-off of Sudoku. You're given a grid which has been split up into segments. In this case, it's a 9x9 nine nine grid which has been split up into 9 3x3 three three segments. Are you still with me? Is this still manageable for you? Each segment is given a number 1 to 9. That does look like the world's easiest Sudoku. I mean, that, that's done already. However, you are then given a list of clues. These are nine lists of letters which correspond to the numbered grids. But these clues make no sense, Frizz. Ovaic, Mikarima, these aren't words. No, they're not words, they are clues. For example, number one, Ovaic, is put into the first grid in the order O-V-A-I-C. You then also fill in the black squares to make the, the sort of crossword thing. But obviously you can't just figure it out with that, you have to look at the other clues to see what the word might be. The big one in this particular example is clue number five, which says wholesome, right? It's, that's an actual word. It has nine letters and it goes in the middle grid like this. So then you figure out like which words can be put where and the letters are filled in each grid in order, left to right, top to bottom. So you're essentially creating a crossword and I've given you the letters. You need to figure out where the black squares go and the crossword also has central symmetry, which means the grid looks the same upside down. I mean, the, the letters don't look the same upside down, but um, you understand. Here is a time lapse of my friend Honor filling out this particular one. See how they've deduced the shape of the crossword by looking at how the symmetry works and what are actually words and what aren't. Look at that! They're done! So why not give it a go if you like puzzles? Uh, I've set up a Twitter account called twitter.com slash junemojis. Feel free to direct message me your answers to see if you're right and just have fun with it. I'm going to try and update it as much as I possibly can. I'm trying to make them sort of topical, like I released one today called Kamala to celebrate Kamala Harris being the new vice president. See, that's the other thing with my versions of this puzzle as well. Uh, one of the clues has to be an actual word, uh, and then you sort of build around that. So yeah, why not give that a go? Make that your new lockdown hobby. Uh, I hope you enjoy the puzzles. Uh, here is the latest songs from the spare room. Here is the latest sketch. It's less than 30 seconds long. Why not give that a watch? And why not click subscribe below? I like, I like the numbers that when they go up, they make pleasant sounds in my brain. Bye.